Morning everyone, August 2020. <sighs> Shakespeare Sonnet 149. Allow me to quote Patterson just to start this because it's been so fun. He's losing it again. Nothing can phase desperation like a series of pointless rhetorical questions. So he riffs off on uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions that Shakespeare's asking of the Dark Lady in this particular one. How can uh, you say I don't love you when I take sides uh, with you against myself? Uh, do I ever think of myself instead of you? Um, do I ever call an enemy of yours my friend, etc., etc., etc.? And then Shakespeare goes on to actually also uh, rhetorically answer his own questions as the Dark Lady. Um, uh, you know, like, I can't, no, yeah, you're my darling, yes, whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, proves nothing, I'm just a hobby, blah, blah, blah. So it's Shakespeare having an internal dialogue about an external fight he's having with the Dark Lady over whether he's actually proving his love to her. Um, and then Patterson goes on to, like the the other sites that, I, that I'm investigating, um, goes on to talk about how Shakespeare almost operates like a blubbering little teenager. Um, uh, you know, like in today's modern parlance, just splashing himself full of acts, running up to a girl, weeping crocodile tears. Um, you're so beautiful, I find you so sexy, how come you don't love me, and I, aren't I proving myself, and woe is me, throwing himself into a snowbank and crying. Um, so it is real interesting to see how emotional Shakespeare is in this. Um, these last, th this whole Dark Lady series of sonnets seems way more emotional and vulnerable than his previous work uh, in terms of the, uh, the youth, the fair youth. Uh, but... <sighs> I'm not even sure I like this particular sonnet. Um, I like the punctuation though. The use of question marks comes not just at the end of every second line, but sometimes at the end of every line. Uh, and in the final couplet, we get a semicolon and a colon and about five commas. So the breakup of the iambic by the, uh, there's even dashes and break up of the iambic by the use of the punctuation is something that I want to try to honor. Um, so I want it to feel stuttering rather than flowing. Uh, so here's <clears throat> uh, 149. I'm going to open my other version uh, just because it's easier to read from my old eyes. Um, I haven't been wearing my new glasses on this. I should. Okay. 149. Canst thou, O oh cruel, say I love thee not, when I against myself with thee partake? Do I not, on thee, when I forget, am of myself all, oh, tyrant, for thy sake? Who hath thee that I do call my friend? On whom frownst thou that I do fawn upon? Nay, if thou lorest on me, do I not spend revenge upon myself with present moan? What merit do I in myself respect that is so proud thy service to despise, when all my best doth worship thy defect, commanded by the motion of thine eyes? But, love, hate on, for now I know thy mind. Those that can see thou lovest, and I am blind. Thanks, see you tomorrow.